Welcome back. This is lesson 40. We're going to write linear functions when given a graph. So here are our look for us in the lesson. If you get a graph that we can accurately identify the slope and the intercept and express it as an equation. So this could either be as a function f of x or as an equation y equals. All right, and if we're given a table, we can use the values to identify the slope and the intercept and write an equation. So we're really just putting all the pieces in together. Here's our first example, writing an equation from a graph. So we're gonna write an equation in y equals mx plus b form. So first step, I'm gonna look for our intercept. So I'm gonna look at our y axis and find a point where the line intercepts and we see it right here at point zero four. So that means we have the very first part of our form of our equation. We have B is equal to four. Okay, first piece of the puzzle. Now we just have to figure out what M is equal to. And we're gonna identify slope using that rise over run. So let's start off. Here's our, I'm just using this point here, negative two, zero. And I'm going to, on my graph, just go up to. So I notice I have to go up to and over one to get to that next point. Up to over one. So my slope, M, is equal to two over one. Okay, so that's what we're seeing here. Here's our change in y, here is our change in x. So m is equal to two over one or just two. So here's my equation. y is equal to two x plus four. All right, hit pause and jot this down. Now, if the triangle part is still confusing to you, you could use your equation m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so pretend, let me just erase this part. This would be my first point. This would be my second point. So here is x2 and y2 and here is x1 and y1 and all you do is substitute the points in so our y is 4 so 4 minus 0 over our x2 is 0 and our x1 is negative 2 so here's the tricky part so 0 minus negative 2 and we'll simplify that part out 4 is on the top that was easy on the bottom part we're going to use additive inverse so this becomes 0 plus 2 or just two. And there you see it. Our slope is four over two, which is the same thing as two. So either way will work. I personally like using the triangle method for finding change of y over change in x, but if you would prefer using the equation, you can. Hit pause and jot this down into your notes. Let's write an equation using a table. So we're gonna start off, let's figure out what the m would be like notice already I don't have my intercepts written here so let's find out what the slope would be I'm gonna take two points I'm gonna choose these two here this is gonna be point one here is point two so let's write our formula actually I want to give myself a little bit more room so here I'm just gonna put one here two so m y2 y1 x2, x1. So m is equal to 5 minus 2 over 2 minus 1. And this simplifies 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, m is equal to 3. So we have the first part of our formula. y is equal to 3x and now we just have to calculate the b so notice 
again, I don't have a y-intercept. I don't have what x equals zero. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take any point. And I kinda like using the simple ones. So let's just say we're gonna use this one. And I'm gonna substitute those values in. So when y is two and x is one, what is b? All right, two is equal to three plus b. Let's isolate b. Negative one is equal to b. So that means my equation is what? Let's go back to the beginning part. Y equals 3X minus 1. That's our equation. All right, hit pause and jot this down into your notes. Awesome, and you have all the steps written here so you can see how we figured it out. Step one, I calculated the slope using formula. Then I substituted the slope in there using any point. And once I had that, I was able to solve for B. And once I had B, I wrote my entire formula using my slope M and my Y coordinate for B. So let's look at this last one. This one is for you to try first. Uh, notice we're writing the equation in the function form. So f is equal to instead of y is equal to. So just check in for that. So hit pause, try this one out. You can use the same steps from this problem to help you if you need support. All right, let's do a reveal. Remember you're checking to see if you're given a table in this one, could you identify what the slope is as well as what the y-intercept is. So let's do a reveal, check and see if your answer matches mine in three, two, one. So you should have f of x is equal to five x plus one. If you had y equals, please just change it now to f of x. All right, so now that we have this answer, if you had the correct one, fantastic. Move on to the next practice part and you still have your notes to support you. Now, if you made an error, if you had a different answer for slope or for intercept, let's try and figure out where the error could be. We're gonna start off finding our slope M and using our same formula. And I'm deciding which points I wanna use. So I'm gonna decide on this point for one and this two. Now do notice I tend to go in order. So as I'm naming, I, I'm writing it down that this is always the first, first point, always comes for the second point. And I'm choosing these for a reason. Try and see what the reason would be. Well, for one is I don't want to do six minus negative four right now. I'd much rather do 16 minus six. That's why I chose these. So you don't have to always pick the one from the top. You can choose any points you want. The slope is going to be constant anyway. So I just decided to do those. All right, so let's substitute in 16 minus six over three minus one, which is equal to 10 over two. So my slope, I am gonna simplify that. Instead of having 10 over two, you could have five over one or five. So now we have our slope, m is equal to five. So you notice we don't have an intercept here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write y equals five x plus, I don't know what my b is yet. I'm just gonna choose any point, doesn't matter. Um, for simplicity, since I am going to do some multiplying, I'd rather have an easy X to multiply with. So I'm just going to pick when X equals one, but it doesn't matter. You can pick any point and this will work. So let's substitute six is equal to five times one plus B. So six is equal to five plus B. And it's really easy for me to solve. B is equal to one. So now that I have that, I can go back to my original formula and I know what my M is equal to is five. So five X plus one. But remember my question asked for this to be represented as a function. So I'm going to write F of X is equal to five X plus one. 
And that's it for today's lesson, Math Marvel. You're going to do a lot of practice with graphs and tables, but now you have multiple strategies for finding the slope as well as being able to identify or calculate the intercept. That's it for today's lesson. I hope things are really starting to click in a way that makes sense. And as always, use your criteria for success for targeted feedback from peers while you practice and check for accuracy. I'll see you in the next lesson. Be well. Thank you.